Terrell Thomas, these are the times. I'm sitting with a cat right now who you've seen his face several, several times on our platforms. You've heard his music. Now we continue to watch his elevation as far as his skills and, and what he's doing in his craft in the music realm. And as we leave 2022 behind us and we move forward towards 2023, uh, this gentleman is working on something phenomenal. So it's only right that we sit down and find out and get the inside scoop on exactly what he has going on. Mr. Miles, how you feel today? Man, before we get this thing started, you know, I got to throw a little sports in there, man. I, I, Alabama not in the playoffs this year, I, I, not in the college football playoffs. How does got you feeling? Oh, man, it feel weird, man. It feel weird. I, I see how everybody else feel now. <laughs> nah, man, you know, I, I, I hate it, man. I hate it, but they, they haven't played, you know, to the standard, like, I feel, you know, all year, man. You know, I, they kind of missing a little something. So, you know, I, I understand that. I understand. There were some pretty good teams out there this year. There's some good teams out there. It does feel weird. I think you summed that up real well, that it feels weird. I'm definitely used to, you know, Alabama getting out there. And you the first cat I think of when Bama do something and whatnot. So, it, it definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. a little weird not, not seeing them out there this year. Um, Absolutely. Absolutely. But I, I want to dive into what you have going on with music again, because as I mentioned, uh, you're working on something extremely dope, in my opinion. Now, to kick off yeah. the new year, you and DJ, DJ MLK uh, have something mm -hmm. very dope in the works. Talk to me about this. Yeah, yeah. We got a um, a mixtape um, um, scheduled to come out at the top of the year, January 1st. You know, so um, it was it was a, a blessing, man. You know what I mean? And um, I'm happy to, to work with somebody like him. Being a legend, you know what I mean. Him and uh, the the history that he's made already. Um, but yeah, it was it's a mixtape that we have coming out on the first. Then I hope everybody um can can tap into it, you know. And I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about it. We run the city at night. Uh, what, what made you decide to go with this title? Um, sort of how I felt, you know what I mean. Like you know, all the all the things that. That goes on a lot of it happens at nighttime. You know what I mean, and that's when that's when the the uh, the good times. You know what I'm saying, and it's it's a cool vibe to 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 be running Atlanta at nighttime. You know what I mean. That's a lot of stuff to see. You know, I know they they say uh, New York never sleep, but I think Atlanta is right up there with them. You know what I mean. <laughs> it's always something going on. Always. As you mentioned, DJ MLK has an uh, extremely dope track record in the world of hip hop, especially here in Atlanta. Uh, for several years, he's worked with Grand Hustle, he's worked with T.I. Uh, he's a prime mm -hmm. example. He runs by that motto of, of pretty much Atlanta never sleeps and whatnot. Um, yeah. So how did you two link up? Man, I, um, over time, you know, uh, I kept reaching out to him and trying to send him music and stuff like that, um, trying to make sure I, I kept um, – uh, kept his ear, you know, and I, I tried to make sure uh, if I did get in contact with him that I, I sent him something that was worth his time. Like, you know what I mean? I, I didn't want to just uh, be just another person reaching out to him for music, but I tried to reach out to him when I had something going on, you know, when I had something to give him. And uh, over time, it's been maybe like a year or so, you know, just me going back and forth and uh, speaking to him at different times uh, and sending him music. You know what I mean, and trying to trying to gauge his ear, you know, see how he feel about certain songs and stuff like that. So, um, I sent him um a track that I did, um, and from there, uh, we moved on to to actually locking in and uh, working together on some some of his own um mixtapes too. You know, he has a, a mixtape series called Bag Talk, um, and uh, I'm part of it too. So, yeah, it, it's, it's been a, it's been a while. <laughs> How many tracks can we expect on this upcoming project? Um, I think we have eleven or twelve tracks on it. Eleven to twelve. Eleven to twelve. Yeah, yeah. Some, I, some, some sweet, short and sweet. You know what I mean? I I know you have an array of music. I know you're consistently in the in the studio in the booth. So how did you how did you select the the eleven or twelve songs that you actually have featured on this project? I mean, I just went through and found the ones that I felt like people would would gravitate toward the most. You know, I think um. A lot of the the song that I've I've done uh fit a certain uh vibe you know like just riding in the car or cleaning up at home you know what I mean um but I just went through and tried to pick something that I I, I felt like um people would gravitate to it 
and not only that, just um, grabbing his ear and making sure um, he was able to gauge, you know, how people would react to certain songs and stuff like that. So it was it was kind of like a team a team thing between him and I. From a producer standpoint, uh, who are some cats in which you've worked with on this upcoming project? The um the main producer man has been like one only one cat that I've been dealing with um from for a while. His name is uh, Jay Wit Beats. Um, you know, me and him, we have a, a, a unique sound, you know, and I, I like it, you know, and it seems a lot of other people like it too. So um I've been trying to stick with, you know, the recipe. <laughs> I, I mean, I like it too. And I, I think great musicians when they when they find that connect with Aaliyah and Timberland, uh yeah. Kanye and Jay, or Jay had two, Kanye and Just Blaze. But I mean I, I like the music that you guys create too. So I'm I'm glad that you are <laughs> still working with <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He's the main one, yeah. For sure. Do you would do you say or would you say uh, you have a favorite record uh, from this upcoming project or something that that stands out to you the most? Um, the the one that uh, I have with, with Boosie um is definitely one of my the, the biggest one that I have um and the the tough love record that I have uh, is between between those two. I mean, okay. obviously because he's on it. You know, I, I got to gravitate towards that one because he's who he is in the streets. And, like, to everybody that's a part of music, Boosie is who he is. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, that, that Tough Love record, too, is, is, is something that I, I really like, too. You know, it's it's a uh, a record that um, I might play, you know, late at night in the car when I'm, I'm just riding. You know what I mean? Just, just a vibe, yeah. 2022 was definitely a, a different year for several folks and whatnot. But how would you say your sound and just your maturity overall as a man has grown or evolved in 2022? I mean, it's just, uh, for me, just taking into account everything that's going on. Um, I mean, it's a lot, a lot that's going on, like the music and the world and all of that. So, um, especially coming out of this uh, whole lockdown, um, it gave it gave me a lot of time to think. Um, it, it it made. It made me closer to some people, you know what I mean? It, you, you're forced to, to sit down for a while. So, um, you know, you, you kind of saw the people for who they are, the ones you can really depend on. I mean, you, you never let them go, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it, it definitely helped. It definitely helped. It's grateful to be here too, man. You know, a lot of people not, so it's great. And that's damn sure well said as far as being grateful to be here. You definitely have seen a lot of people transition uh, into the afterlife during these last times. Have, has was any of the music on this project created during the lockdown or during the pandemic, or is it all fresh? Something that you created within yeah, the yeah. Um, over um the last couple months, um, it's a couple of this on there that I did uh during the lockdown. Um, and a lot of the uh the records that I've been doing, um, yeah, the majority of it was created during the lockdown. So yeah, pretty much all of it. <laughs> Say this is my first time checking you out, right? My first time that I'll get the opportunity to hear your music. Now, could you give me one or two records from this upcoming mm -hmm. project in which you feel really stand out to who you are in a, as an artist? Um, I would say there's a record on there called um uh, The Republic. Um, I think that one, people oh. will like that one. And, um, again, it, it's a little uh, record. Well, I think the ball is but it takes the. Practice. I think a lot of people gravitate to it toward those two. I am okay. 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 I'm I'm going I'm gonna I'm gonna give the people a chance to get to know you a little bit more as an artist and whatnot. So the project is entitled as we mentioned, we run the city at night. And as you mentioned here in Atlanta, it, it, it is rare. The city doesn't sleep and whatnot. Um so if, if you if you're going on a late night run and, and this is actually I mean this is it's not realistic because one of these places is not even open on a late night. But uh if you're on a late night run for some food, you're going to Chick-fil-A as actors. I'm gonna uh Chick-fil-A. <laughs> okay, Chick okay. And I, I mean, I, I, I don't want to cause any conflicts or any troubles uh, with any strippers or DJs in these clubs, but if you had the uh, Blue yeah. Flame or Magic City, which one, where where you going to? Magic. <laughs> Magic. Uh, let me think of another good one for you here. And then, uh, uh, with, this, with this being the peach state right here, um, mm -hmm. Give me, give me your favorite late night snack. My late favorite late night snack. Oh man, 
That's a tough one right there. There's so many of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough one, man. I don't know. That's a tough one right there. Give us, give, give us two, then. <laughs> throw, throw two out there. I don't know, man. I mean, not even a late night snack, but um, the wings. Um, you know what I mean. I, I, I got to have the, the wings from Atlanta. It's just, you know, you don't have them, those from anywhere. <laughs> what, what flavor? Lemon pepper, barbecue, mild, well, hot, hot lemon pepper, man. hot lemon pepper. And you know, I just recently found um one of the spots. Uh, Big Dave's, you know, Big Dave's sure. cheese steak. I mean, that is turning into one of my favorite spots lately, man. So, for sure. Except, <laughs> uh, you know, I love to hear that. Big days. He's from Philly. That's a, that's a Philly joint. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. So, so, so big, big up to him. Big up to him. <laughs> What's next for you, good sir? So, we, we know you'll be focused on this project in, in, in the first quarter as we move into 2023. But a lot is in store for this year. And I, and I truly believe this will be the best year yet for you as an artist. Uh, but what are some goals you have for yourself? And what will you be working? what else will you be working on in quarter one? Um, man, just trying to reach the people, man. That's the main goal. Um, trying to make sure uh I solidify myself as an artist. Um, and 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 making sure that uh I, I give people what they actually like. You know what I'm saying? I think um to be able to to create a song and people spend that time listening to it is one of the things that I enjoy the most. So just continuing to to try to um make the best music I can for as long as I can. Where can people check out the music that you already have out? You have plenty of music out already. Uh, how can they go about checking that out? Um any any major uh streaming platform man um anywhere YouTube title Spotify Pandora all that anywhere you, you usually check out music I'm there. I'm there. Okay. Okay and please let please let our audience know how they can check you out and follow you via social media. Um you can check me out at uh, um Instagram Mr Miles Music. Um, on Twitter, Mr. Miles MW3, and the same for uh, for Facebook. So yeah, it's all the same on there. Man, much love, continued success, and blessings as we move into this new year. Uh, we're we're looking forward to this upcoming project, man. You and DJ MLK got something dope up your hand, up your sleeves. Uh, you, you'll always have our love and support over here. These every times, yes, sir. I appreciate that, man. Love. All love, all love. All right.